I don't want to do it. But this is... Sorry, you wanted to do your little introduction. Oh, you God. failed. Okay. Oh, God. Guys. All right. Hey, guys. So, today we are going to hit the highlights. This is like the fifth time we filmed this because we suck at going off on tangents. Oh, gosh. Okay. okay. For real this time, babe. All okay. Right. Guys, we just today need to learn editing. We are we going we are going to hit the highlights on basically moving in with your significant other. Um, basically, you know, kind of our story, what we did, things to consider before moving in with your significant other. Um, and then also kind of like the dynamic once you guys do live together and things to kind of consider. So a little bit about our backstory. Um, prior to Steven, I have lived with someone um, Basically, we I was in a long-term relationship for several years. Um, I saw I didn't know if I was necessarily gonna marry the person, but we both, you know, were like, oh, like we feel like there obviously could be like a future here. We had been together for several years, but um, you know, we never discussed specifically like, yes, we are going to get married. Anyway, we moved in together um, and basically ended up breaking up. Um, we moved. I moved out. Um, and then I kind of said, you know, for the next person that I move in with, like, I want to know, like, that is going to be my husband. Um, and How then, old were you when that happened? Like, mid-20s. I think it was, like, I had graduated college the first time. <laughs> um, not nursing, but I had graduated from my first degree, and then about six months later, I moved in with them. Um, and then when we met, I was about 26, I think. Yeah. So, right. yeah, and then Steven, I think, I don't know if I said this, Steven's never lived with a significant, with a significant other. Yeah, no <laughs> girls allowed in, yeah. in my dwelling place. At least not, a, anyway. Yeah, that shit's okay. out the window now. Um, so, kind of, when Steven and I met, I pretty much knew, like, right off the bat that I was going to marry him. Psycho. I know I was. You were just so cute. But a loving psycho. The yeah. fact that we're married, we, this is like a fun story. Yeah, this, it's not a psycho story. If we had broken story. up, you would have been totally weird. Yeah, but we didn't, so. Um, but basically, you know, after we met, I mean, really within like a few months, we were talking about like getting married. We looked no, at rings. No, it's not a few months. It was like, like four six mo months. We looked at rings after six months, but around the four month mark, we were like, hey, I think this could really be something. You were saying that, you said I love you like three weeks in. Oh my gosh. We're going to have a serious talk after this video. Okay, so anyway, the point being, we knew pretty shortly after we met that like that's where the relationship was headed. So we... We, we both kind of knew what we wanted. So there was, there was serious intent kind of from the get-go, that from like for us specifically. Yeah. And we both knew, or we were both, like, we weren't just dating to date. Like, we were dating with a purpose. To bang. We weren't doing that. Yeah, you were at some point. But it was, what? like, whenever we... <laughs> but, like, we were both ready, like, once we found the right person. Well, you probably didn't think you were ready, but once you found me, you were like, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready to dump. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. I'm not... I'm gonna let you save some face and not embarrass you with how obsessed you were with me. Let me make you pancakes at 6 a.m. Anyway, different story for a different day. Um, I hate this video. <laughs> okay, but so basically we ended up moving in together a few months before we got engaged, but we had talked about like, hey, a proposal is happening here in the next like few months. Like I knew he had a ring, like there was clear intentions. Yeah, it was communicated extremely... Uh, explicitly not implicitly explicitly where I verbally said we had a conversation and you know my parents I was raised Catholic so for all my Catholic peeps out there you totally know what the what the, like the rules are which is don't fucking do it <laughs> don't don't do it that's like there it's like set in stone you know and uh, you know I can respect that in a lot of ways I think there there's a lot to be said about it um, you know not, not to get down the, the rabbit hole on that. But anyway, yeah. We, How many clearly, times can we say rabbit hole? Yeah. <laughs> but Let, I let's think get a, the can point we, is... Can we get those editing skills? We can do like the, the counter. I'm going to learn hole, that. Rabbit hole, rabbit hole. Okay. okay. So, but I think kind of like what you're saying, and because I, I know some people have asked that, if your parents like, you know, in this case, like yours are Catholic or do not want you moving in with a significant other before you get married, I think that kind of comes down to, you know how old you are you know if you're like under 21 like i'm sorry I, you don't need to be moving in with anyone like 
it yeah. can take some time. Yeah. Um, but well, like seriously moving in with someone. Like if you're like, oh, if you're like 21, you're like, I want to move in with my boyfriend, do all this stuff. I think that's really silly because you're way too young and you need to like get life experiences. Trust me, once you move in together, you have plenty of time to, to do shit, all right? Yeah. You can wait. I so, think. yeah. So, I mean, but if you are like a consenting adult. No, but I mean like, you know, if you're in your, if you're an adult Thanks, and like, order. You know, you're still in your, like, mid-20s or, like, maybe, like, 23, 24, and, you know, you really value what your parents have to say, but, you know, I think that you have to kind of weigh, like, okay, well, my parents feel this way, and then what is the intent or purpose of moving in with this person? And I think that kind well of goes... Well put. Well put. Thank you. So I think that kind of goes to one of the main things that we think is important when moving in with someone is having a clear and like open and honest conversation about like what is the purpose or what is the end goal of moving in together. Explicit is the key, not implicit. Implicit means that you've been together for like a couple years or longer and then you're like, well, this is just the next step. I think that's extremely dangerous because the next step to you might not be the same next step to the other person and if you just kind of never talked about it or even if you did but you never came to like a clear answer i just think it's going to end like it's just going to be like a really like dirty way as, as far as like it could be kind of like a recipe for disaster yeah you know There's i don't think you know like we kind of said earlier to each their own obviously everything works for different people but i do think i think we kind of both think as a general rule of thumb you both need to be on the same page prior to moving in together. And not that you have to be engaged or know like, okay, in a few months I'm get, we're getting engaged. Like, I don't think like that's what we did, but that also had to play into like my, you know, past experience and like his parents, blah, blah, blah. So everyone's different, but I think as a general rule, you definitely need to have that conversation with the other person kind of like, okay, like where do we see this going yeah and just you know disclaimer to disclaimer and uh rabbit hole are two favorite words this video but uh but no seriously disclaimer it's like we know people and like are friends with people who are living together or and are not engaged and not yeah we don't care whatever yeah you know it's like it's it's tough because i don't want to disrespect their relationship because you know i don't want to like you know not to say dehumanize that's super dramatic but like you know really kind of I don't want to attack someone or like have a really strong strength on people's lives where I don't know a lot about it. But I just think based off talking to other people and like, you know, not that Reddit's a, a super reliable source, but people post on there about their relationship experiences, yeah. which include moving That's in fair. and then possibilities of like before and after. And I think we all know people that have moved in with someone. It didn't work out. Then you have to like move out. And there's just like all yeah. that, that just like and that I, cluster. Yeah. And, it's just and like, I think like, obviously life happens. You, not everything's going to be perfect. You can't always, you know, plan for everything. But I think the key is to prepare the best you can. Yes. And by preparing, it means like both being on the same page, having an open conversation about what the expectations are. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's like studying for a test. You don't just go in there and wing it. You, you sit there, you think about you it, plan, you study. You prepare. What is the best plan you execution? Prepare. All right. Questions. <laughs> so you can keep this shit on time, concise. All right. Uh, Send any rules or boundaries when we moved in. Someone asked if like... Once you moved in, where it's like, all right, well, you pay for this, I pay for that. Um, or for, like no phones in bed. Yeah, or know. like kind of like ground rules, right? Yeah. My only ground rule was just like, uh, shoot, what, how do people say it? Banging Wait at least seven joke. times. Baby, you can't ruin the punchline right before I say it. What is, I know you oh too my well. God. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to have to redo this video now. Um, no, no, all right, so. We're doing yeah. good. We're on track. Okay. To, to just say, just to, con to, to put it in a nutshell, uh, we kind of, we didn't even really say it. We just, it just kind of happened. If dishes needed to be done, either I would do them or she would do them. If, but like as far as like bills I think go, we have very split. Yeah, well before we get to bills, because some people ask about bank accounts, I think in general we have a very similar like way of living. Like one person isn't super messy and the other one's like really clean. And I also think both of us, it's like, I... Like, not to be, like, cheesy, but, like, you know, I'm happy when, like, you're happy, and I want to do what I can to help. And I think you feel, like, the same way in the sense that, you know, if I see that there is dishes in the sink, and I know Steven's, like, at work and is busy, and if I have time, like, I'll just 
do them. Um, and, or sometimes like I'll be at work the whole day and Steven will have time to clean up the apartment. So like he'll clean it up because he knows that like I appreciate when the apartment is clean. I mean, yeah, who doesn't? so yeah, I know, but I feel like hoarders, we, <laughs> yeah. that's who, but I mean, I feel like, I think the bottom line is we both like know like certain things need to be done and like try to be respectful, you know, of like each other. But I think one thing that helps is you and I both have similar living styles. Whereas if you were super clean and like OCD and I was not, then I think that that could be a potential like area of like friction or whatever you would want to call it. And it would be like, Hey, like let's say lay some ground rules in terms of cleaning, because I kind of know if we don't, that it's not gonna get done or one person will end up doing it and the other one doesn't because they just don't really care about being that OCD and then the other person ends up being resentful because they're the ones cleaning all the time. So I feel yeah. like topics that you know that you might be kind of like differing a little on just to kind of have a conversation about. Yeah, plus we what we do is uh, we tell the other person the kind of like things we don't like to do. So like for whatever reason, transferring clothes from the washer and the dryer, I despise because all of Claire's stuff, like none of it can go in the dryer and all of it is stuck together and they create this like super slip knot in the washer and it just like, it really gets me going. So that's something that I kind of ask her to do. And then I don't even, Oh, well, I was going to say another example for like a rule is like the no phones in bed thing. Like we actually are both guilty of like he will be on Reddit and I'll be checking social media, my blog, emails, whatever. And so it's like when we're in bed, we're both on our phones. Whereas I feel like if he wasn't on his phone and I was, then it would be kind of like, okay, I think we maybe need to have a conversation about, you know, like once we're in bed, like no phones and even though we both are on our phones we've actually had a conversation about that recently to you know like hey like the bed like we heard the other day the bed is for sex and for sleeping we don't need to constantly be like on our phones in bed so um agree but as far as like bills go and other kind of rules like that when we were engaged for example we split everything 50 50 so rent 50 50 groceries utilities and then when we would go out I would be like, okay, I'll get this one, you'll get the next one. Um, but now that we're married, like... Now that we're married, like, so our mentality now that we're married, and I know this isn't a like video about married people, but it's like, now that we're married, it's all out of the same pot. So like, we don't really, we've never even really been like, hey, I got this time, you should get it. It doesn't really matter, because it's like, we're we're a single unit, yeah. uh, according like, to the we're state yeah and I know like we have separate checking accounts and then we basically have like a joint credit card that a lot of our stuff goes on shout out chase Sapphire. but yeah it's like the best credit card but some points, I think in general even though we both have separate checking accounts I don't look at what's in my checking account and I'm not and I don't think like okay this is mine like yeah. I just look at like okay the money in my checking account this is what we both have and I just think you know, like and we're we a also, team and just... Yeah, I think it's different for married people versus like, kind of like... When, girlfriend, plenty, when we were in Boyfriend and Girlfriend, you know, it was it was just split 50-50. It's like, you got it more than I would notice that. And I don't think we... Had, we never had to say to each other like, hey, I've gotten this a few times yeah. because like the other person was neglectful. So yeah. just like, keep it on topic, I guess. You know, for the people who are like still dating, you know, that's... 50-50 is the only but, fairest thing to do. Yeah, but baby, I also know like some married couples, they still do like... Like one of them will get all the bills, the other one does rent. What? But this so is, yeah, I get okay. like different things, and I know other married couples are like, that's what works. Like if we had one giant pot, they were like, that would not work for us, like sharing finances. But for us, it's just kind of like you know, what's mine is his, and what's his is mine, and that, and mine, mine, and that's just what works. Like we're a team, and we're all we're like working towards the same stuff. But that's obviously not the only way to do it, but that's just what yeah. we do. I think we answered all the questions I just looked. So let's wrap this video okay. up so we can keep it under 15. Woo! I'm proud of us, babe. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, you know, I think that it's a topic where we could have obviously, well, I know we could have talked a lot more about it, and we can definitely make some more videos it's diving into some specifics. It's a big subject. We, we really got kind of general. Yeah, but hopefully that kind of helps give you guys some pointers. Um, but just remember, like, 
obviously what worked for us might not work for you or maybe it will work for you you know so just think about it just get some thought to it never yeah, make rash what we're decisions saying. yeah don't be a um, dipshit <laughs> Great last words, babe. I mean. Um, but really, if you guys have any other comments, please just go ahead and leave them below. We'll be happy to answer them. And also, if you guys liked this video, let us know and feel like we could be doing some more together. Maybe. We got into a huge fight because she said to subscribe and on like the eighth other time we tried filming this video. I was like, please subscribe. And she was like, I was no, like, you don't subscribe. People. I hate when people tell me to subscribe. I go, fuck you, I'm not going to subscribe. And then I never but do. But the thing is, if you actually care about the videos that you're watching, you should subscribe because you're supporting them and letting them know like, yes, I like your videos. I want you to continue producing content. Okay. You'll learn this soon enough. All right. So please subscribe um, and hopefully this was helpful and we will talk to you guys later. Bye.